Hey guys, so we're back with a quick video today. Just want to show you the Rotopax mount that I'm going to fit onto the uh, rigged ultra swing here. And uh, hopefully this will work. The um, sort of official adapter plate from rigged was out of stock, or at least there was a several weeks lead time. So I've gone a different way. Let's see how that works. A closer look at the ultra swing here. You can see that the top of this sort of A-frame is made from a 1.75 inch diameter tube. And the mounting plate I bought will attach to that tube. The factory mounting plate actually goes to this um, sort of central column and bolt on there. So I'm gonna try a slight different approach. And these are the Rotopax um, containers, two gallons. I'm gonna mount two of them stacked onto the Rotopax mount. Um, these are the generation two containers. They're a little different. They don't have the clip together mechanism at the bottom, which I didn't need. And I did buy this uh, spigot or spout kit. Um, this makes it a little easier to pour water out of the container. The uh, factory ones kind of look like this. They look like the gas uh, spouts, although they are illegal for that purpose in the US. And this is the Rotopax base mount. There's backing plate for this, which I don't need. Let's go straight onto my mounting plate. This is the extension. This allows me to stack two Rotopax units together. This is the mounting plate itself. As you can see, it has a mount on the back that will attach to a tube. Again, that's a 1.75 inch tube on this frame. A couple of spots where I could put this. Um, I think I'm gonna try it on the top first and we'll see how that fits. All right. Yeah, it could go in either of these spaces. Let's go. Okay, so I have the mounting plate, the uh, Rotopax base mount, and the extension in place here. It does look like it's a pretty close fit to the tire on the back of this, which is not ideal. Um, so let's go ahead and put on the second Rotopax container onto here and check the clearance once we actually close the Ultra Swing. Okay, that didn't fit, so I've moved the mounting plate to the other obvious location on the Ultra Swing. And looks like this one's gonna work. Nice clearance to the back tailgate on both sides. And uh, I think we have a chicken dinner. And I will come back and put in some Loctite into all of the bolts here because there are no compression washers in any of these uh, bolts. Other than that, yeah, this is a really good fit. And you can see here how the spigots will sit. The uh, rotor packs actually will be the other way around, upside down for transport. And then I'll just turn them around once we get to camp. I will put a list of all of the components that I've used here in the description below in case uh, this is of interest to you. And just another quick look at how the mount and the base fit here on the Ultra Swing. And thanks so much for watching the video. We'd love to get your comments and feedback below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. And why not subscribe to our channel if you want to see more.